minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1, take <laughs> Beautiful liftoff from our launch site one in West Texas. You can follow along as she gains speed in the bottom left corner of your screen. There's the speedometer, altimeter in the middle there. milestone on her trip to space max Q that's when the, the dynamic pressure on the vehicle is at its maximum the toughest point in flight for the vehicle and max Q is confirmed All right, right about this time in your flight, you know, on ascent, you're going to max at about three Gs. We've noted it before, the max Gs that you pull as an astronaut on New Shepard actually is on descent. So here on, on ascent, it's about three Gs, and it comes on gradually as you go faster and get higher up there. Until, of course, main engine cutoff and separation, and that is when you get to feel those beautiful zero Gs. We're waiting for that here. Next stops, Miko and separation. Coming up here on Miko, main engine cutoff. So far, a clean burn from our BE3 engine. There it is, main engine cutoff. All right, appears we have uh, lost the link to the J layer. So far, though, everything appears to be nominal. So far, what we have seen, a clean liftoff. Uh, we did have uh, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is essentially for the rocket, the hardest point in the flight. And then uh, we had uh, main engine cutoff. And now, as you can see, separation. Here we've got our uh, infrared camera, especially on the left side. As you've seen earlier in the, in the show, it is a little hazy down there in Texas, so we are going to rely on multiple cameras here as the vehicle continues its ascent towards space. We have passed over just about here the Carmen line. There it is, 100 kilometers or about 328,000 feet. If you were inside there, Patrick, you will become a, an astronaut. And we're just waiting for the two craft to hit their apogee. You'll know they've hit apogee when the speed hits zero in the bottom left corner of your screen. There it is, Apogee, just at about 346,000 feet. Of course, we're going to have official stats for you after the flight via Twitter, but so far, so good, Patrick. Looks to be a nominal flight of New Shepard. You see the booster on the right and the capsule on the left. This is when they've begun their descent. As we've seen in the past, obviously, the booster is going to beat the capsule down to Earth as it's more aerodynamically, better aerodynamically shaped. Mm -hmm.
And thank you again, everybody, for joining us live for New Shepard's 15th flight to space. We are five minutes into what appears to be so far a nominal flight for New Shepard. We, of course, preceded the launch by what appears to be a uh, perfectly executed astronaut experience rehearsal. While there are no astronauts on board today, that was a critical step towards our march towards first human flight. All right, we've picked up our long range cameras again. There you see the booster in the bottom of the screen and the capsule on the top. At this point, the booster is re entering the atmosphere. It means it's going to have air pressure against which those aerodynamic surfaces Patrick and I were walking you through can push against to, to guide the rocket back to its landing pad. And to think this rocket will have peaked at a, almost Mach 4. And it's, by the time it touches down, it's just going to touch down at about 8 kilometers per hour or 5 uh, miles per hour. So relatively speaking, a nice soft landing. Critical, as we talked about reusability, the softer the landing, the quicker you can turn it around, right? You're not jostling the mm -hmm. rocket. You're not jostling the hardware. You want to be able to flip it around nice and quickly. So there you see the aft fins. We also call them the pie fins because they're shaped like pie wedges. All right, there go the drag brakes. And there you see all the speed leading off of the, off of the vehicle and waiting for our BE3 engine to relight. There it goes. Touchdown. Welcome back, New Shepard. Oh, my God. What a beautiful landing, I right? think that was one of the smoothest landings I've seen of this rock. It almost looks unreal. Right? It looks like CGI. I know some of you on the, on the Internet seem to think that. Believe me, that <laughs> is a reusable rocket that takes off and lands. What a beautiful landing. It looks like it's ready to go again. Yeah, yeah. just, you know, put in those drag brakes, put in the wedge fins, fuel her up. Let's go again. But until then, the show is not over. We do have the crew capsule here. On board, we have Mannequin Skywalker, as well as a couple of payload lockers filled with postcards from Club for the Future, from students from around the world. We are waiting to see the drogue chutes come out. They will be followed by the main parachutes. And a little wink from one of those big, beautiful windows. Look at that. There go the drogues. And here come the mains. All three parachutes are out. We're looking for full inflation, and there they go. I love that. So far, so good. A nominal launch, nominal landing for the booster. We're waiting for the crew capsule to come into land. We're at about 1,600 feet to go and a nice smooth descent at about 16 or so miles per hour. Just at about 25 or so kilometers per hour. That is a nice smooth descent. There's the valley of our West Texas launch site, launch site one as we call it. What a day so far, Patrick, let me tell you. Now, at 800 feet to go here, we should remind everybody that we do have the, uh, the retrothrust system that kicks on just in the last moment. Basically, it just creates a nice air cushion for the capsule so that if you, next time, hopefully, 
you know, when you and I are up on in that <laughs> capsule one day, we are going to be uh, getting a nice air cushion underneath the capsule. And touchdown. Oh, it was beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. Patrick, I told you it was going to be worth the wait. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely. I love you. So you, you can just see it just as it lands. You see that puff of air and it kicks up all that dust, but it's just such a gentle landing right there. A beautiful launch and landing for both the crew capsule and the booster. Team Blue, congratulations to all of you. What a day. You should be so proud. And again, Patrick, soon, you know, if you're an astronaut on board, that is going to be a ride of a lifetime.